Well, I'm doing a colloidal silver the fast and easy way, actually using a little um, Silver Smoke Research Jitterbug. Uh, it's, a, it's a Bob Beck style zapper, but it's got the colloidal silver maker in it. Really, all it is is three batteries connected with a resistor, and it's got this little light that shows it's got some conductivity going through the distilled water. This is a magnetic stir, and um, it has a little thing inside you can see it's spinning around it's a little magnetic plastic coated thing that spins the water around you keep it spinning slow you don't spin it too quick maybe you can go a hair faster than that and uh, here's a simple old TDS meter that says what zero Yeah, I think I got to do it this way. Yeah, zero, zero. I had it the other way around, so when I was pressing, it wasn't reading. So should say zero. Does in fact say zero. And we'll wait till it gets to about ten, and we'll stop it. And I'll put this over here to keep the dust out a little bit. <laughs> And uh, let it wait. And this is going to be colloidal silver for Mr. Meow Meow outside Boots the Cat. Because make sure he's got some in his water. Make sure these other guys. I got gallons of distilled water. It's cheap to make it this way. And one side that uses up the electrode. I actually have a double rod on there twisted around. So it's a little bit bigger. You know, it's got a lot more area. Like one side uses a lot more. It actually wears the electrode down and the other side doesn't. So I got that one side doubled up and it's like twisted. You know, it's just double thickness. So that kind of helps it make it go a little faster. I think it takes about several hours and we got a batch. We're going to check it with that meter though. Anyway, so uh, this could be for Mr. Meow Meows. It's not going to be, it's still not bad stuff though. It's still not bad stuff. The reason it comes out pretty good even with the three batteries set up is the magnetic starter. The thing that just keeps the water flowing and you don't want it going too fast. Um, an air bubbler is not too too bad to use but it can introduce impurities in the water you really want to do with the magnetic star lab star and that's what this thing is so yeah we'll give it a few hours come back give it a reading and Mr. Boots the Cat is going to get some collateral silver in his water including my other meow meows Goldie, Rocky and Putin and uh, you know stay healthy and I'll drink some too, of course. Well, I dare say this is plenty potent enough. It's at there you go, 17. That should be plenty. <laughs> that should be plenty strong enough. So even if it's diluted, it should be good. So we'll shut this off. Dude. Let me shut this off. Take the rods out of there. Now to make sure we put some of this souped up stuff in this bowl. <laughs> you know with 16 or 17 that's like you know I don't know typical 8 you know putting you know what I mean you don't need that many ounces to make it freaking really strong. I probably made that little bit right there probably like two or three on average just putting that much in there so I don't know where he's at he's sometimes he's down here no he's not here just checking if he was down here no nah, he's not there I don't know where the hell he is he's, he disappeared <laughs> Mr. Boots so He'll have colloidal, so I'm going to give him some of that, um, what do you call it, vitamin C also, the liposomal. And if he's got any problems, that'll heal him up. So, especially with a cat, if you give him like, just a little bit of that stuff, it's like, I don't know, they're like, what are they, 12 pounds? So you're talking about 14 times the amount for whatever you give them for a human. So if you gave him like, if you give him a half a pack, that's like giving him seven packs. So, <laughs> He should be alright, so we'll see how he is.